always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, and South Floridians feeling the heat. We could use some rain maybe to cool us off. Yeah, is that Saharan dust, Ivan, yes. still over us? Saharan dust is calling the shots here for the next couple of days. You know, we it's incredible the technology now that back uh, in the day, the satellites didn't have the wavelength to be able to actually see it. Now we can, and we can track plumes that go across thousands of miles uh, over the Atlantic Ocean. And, well, we got one right on top of us here. But we have enough moisture at the surface on the ground that the sea breezes will allow for a few showers and storms. It's just the coverage won't be as you know, widespread as we typically get. 86 right now, 95 was the high temperature. Not enough for a record, but we hit a record of feels like temperature. 110 was the number earlier this afternoon when we hit that uh, 95. That's what it felt like. 80s right now and still looking at uh, heat indices into the 90s uh, at this late hour. So Weather Service has extended the uh, heat advisory right until Wednesday 8 p.m. The reason for that is after that, rain chances start going back up and I think temperatures will be a little bit more under control. It's still going to be hot in the middle of the summer here, but it's not going to be as uh, relentless as it has been. And this was the rainfall footprint. It wasn't zero, right? That's why I'm keeping 20% chances here. We had this little cluster of thunderstorms that developed right over uh, Northeast Broward, Fort Lauderdale getting in on some pretty good rainfall, but it was a fast mover and it was done and nothing else uh, became available. In fact, because of the dust that's on top of us, the, the deepest concentrations down across South Florida, they had more action up towards uh, Palm Beach. Next radar network right now, quiet. And that's the way it's going to stay for the rest of uh, the evening. So, yes, hot and hazy. The Saharan dust continues tomorrow. I think the same deal on Wednesday with rain coverage down to about 20%. And then we'll get a nice southeast wind here developing. I think by Thursday, Friday, we'll start introducing showers and thunderstorms, not just a you know, couple isolated, more standard uh, fare, if you will, for showers and storms this time of year. So there's rain tracker pretty quiet in the morning. And then by 12, 2 o'clock, you'll see a few little pop-up showers. The model tends to overdo this. But you know, we could, like today, get a, a nice old thunderstorm going there, and that broke Fort Lauderdale's heat. I mean, we went to, from mid to upper 90s down to into the 80s, so that was uh, a nice uh, reprieve from the heat. And I'm talking about feels like temperatures, not actual numbers as far as the thermometer. But there it is, another shower. Now that's definitely overdone for uh, Wednesday. These you know short-term models have a hard time sometimes dealing with the uh, dry air up above, especially with Saharan dust. That is encompassing all of the tropics, a good chunk of the uh, Atlantic Basin here. Uh, National Hurricane Center is still following this little blob here that could turn into a subtropical storm the next few days, but it's headed out of the way, so nothing to be concerned about. But look at this. this is, we love to see all that across the main development region, as we call it, for tropical waves that can turn into something significant. When we've got all that dust out there, it's not, uh, not going to happen there. Low to mid-90s uh, mid for uh, tomorrow. 96, in fact, to four in Miami, it'll feel like about 100, 510. I think we'll do that again easily through the afternoon. And then our rain chances stay low and then come back 30, 40 percent coverage. So easy does it here. So in the next few days, just uh, stay cool, take those breaks, keep hydrated, and uh, we'll get through this as we head into the weekend. Rain chances coming back.